Welcome back to the channel guys. Today we're going to talk about Ned Rig colors. We're going to talk about four of my favorite Ned Rig colors that are a little bit not talked about as much as some of the other ones. Everyone knows green pumpkin, black, black and blue, the typical colors always catch them on a Ned Rig and a Ned Rig is an excellent way to catch fish. Uh, but we're gonna talk about four colors that I like to mix in my rotation on top of the basic colors, depending on the situation that will help me get more bites and catch more fish. So stay tuned and let's get right into it. So as I mentioned, the Ned Rig is an excellent way to catch a ton of fish. It's caught so many smallmouth bass and largemouth and spotted bass for me over the years. It's something I fought a lot in the beginning when it first came out. I said I was never gonna throw that and now I seem to always have it tied on and fishing with it. Over the years of fishing with this bait, I've learned a few different colors that will work in some different scenarios, and they've helped me catch more bass throughout the trips that I'm fishing with the Ned Rig. Each one of these is going to have its own scenario, and they'll be very different from the other ones. Um, and so hopefully one of these baits will work for you, if not all four of them, depending on where you're from. I live in the Northeast, I fish a lot of rivers, creeks, smallmouth bass mostly, uh, and occasionally some largemouth and some small ponds, stuff like that. So if those are the types of waters you're fishing in or in the Northeast specifically, these baits are really gonna work for you. Uh, but try these in your local waterways. If you have the same conditions we're gonna talk about with these baits, and they might just work for you as well. So number one here, this is one of my favorites for when the fish are feeding on crawfish or smallmouth bass, especially around here in our rivers. Our rivers are very dirty. Typically a little bit of rain can get them even more off colored. Um, they don't have very clear water. They're not like creeks or streams or the St. Lawrence River, any of those places where you can see down very deep in the water. We don't have that. We have very dirty industrial riverways um, that we fish. The Three Rivers is my main riverway that I fish very dirty water, fish feed mostly on crawfish. There's not a lot of bait for them to feed on. A lot of the bait actually is bigger than the fish because the shad outgrow the bait, the smallmouth that are eating them. Sometimes they'll feed on small bait fish. We'll talk about that on another color. Um, but if they're feeding on crawfish, even though this bait doesn't imitate crawfish perfectly, um, it's just a stick worm, it will still work. And this color right here is going to be the green pumpkin orange. Uh, that green pumpkin back looks great, just like a regular green pumpkin, but that fire orange belly in that dirty water always, always, always catches more fish than the regular green pumpkin. They can just see it better. Smallmouth are sight feeders. If Even if this doesn't imitate crawfish, what this will do is catch their eye a little bit better than the straight green pumpkin and it will get you more bites because they'll be able to see it easier. So that's the one that I really like to throw. Rivers around here, uh, smallmouth specifically, dirty water, that's the color that I'm gonna throw. It's a little bit different than the plain green pumpkin and it just tends to catch a bunch of fish. The other cool thing about this color, I don't know necessarily if it's the coolest thing, you'll notice it on this bait right here, uh, but each pack is just a little bit different. I guess it's the way they laminate them. So I've had some that are like this guy, very dark green pumpkin and just a little hint of orange. And then I've had other packs where you've taken it out and the green pumpkin's been like see-through and it's mostly orange. It doesn't really matter. Pick out your favorite in the store when you're choosing them. If you like one better than the other, I haven't noticed a difference between the fire engine red orange and the muted color. Uh, it just depends on what you're fishing. And uh, oftentimes if you're getting an even dirtier water, that brighter orange can catch them as well if it's a different colored pack. So we talked about when they're feeding on crawfish. We mentioned that a lot of these fish in these rivers also feed on very tiny bait fish. I don't know if you've ever been out there, some of your bodies of water, where you notice they're feeding on these little itty bitty bait fish and you can never get them to bite anything. It just seems like every bait you're throwing is too big, it doesn't work, it doesn't look natural. This is the color that I'm gonna throw on my Ned Rig when they're feeding on those tiny bait fish and I'll still catch them on the Ned Rig. What I'll do with this one, I'll fish it a little bit faster on the bottom. I'll drag it a little quicker. I'll make it look like a little bait fish scurrying on the bottom rather than like an insect or a crawfish or something pecking off the bottom. 
and that color is gonna be the deal. This color right here has a dark like smoke looking back and then it has a pearl white belly with a lot of blue glitter and iridescence, even on the back and the belly. It just mimics bait fish spectacular. It's one of the best that I've found to mimic bait fish. It doesn't matter if you're fishing in the rivers or something like that where I usually fish this, where those bait fish are feeding on small bait fish. If you fish anywhere that those fish are feeding on small minnows, small bait fish, could work in a creek by your house, could work pretty much any of those places. This is the one that I'm gonna go to. The deal is a great color anytime you need something to stand out and look like small bait fish. The other place that this color works exceptionally well is actually on the Great Lakes. It imitates the little smelt and emerald shiners that they feed on up there all the time. A lot of those smallmouth up there, they do eat gobies and we have a color for that as well, but they will feed a lot on smelt and emerald shiners specifically. The, if you've ever been up there in the springtime when the emerald shiners start coming in around the bay and shallow areas, there will be massive, massive schools of these emerald shiners and they're no bigger than two or three inches long. So if you throw this little deal color, it looks exactly like those emerald shiners. You can hop it along the bottom real slowly. The water might be cold that time of year and you can catch a ton of fish throwing this color around those massive schools of bait fish when you think that they wouldn't eat a bottom bouncing finesse bait if you choose your color correctly, you can catch them doing that. So this is the one that I like to do for that scenario. And let's get into the next one, which I also like to throw on the Great Lakes. Now this next color, like I said, this is one that I like to fish on the Great Lakes as well. It's probably my favorite Great Lakes color, but it will work on any of our Northern natural lakes. So I've fished it on a bunch of places from Chautauqua, Cayuga, any of those lakes that are in upstate New York, all through upper Pennsylvania, any of those areas where you have clear water, you have grass, you have rock, you have shell, you might have gobies. A lot of those lakes inland do have gobies. They swim through the creeks from the Great Lakes and have made it into those bodies of water. Or even in places that just have perch and bluegill, this has been an excellent color for me. I've used it in ponds as well and that is gonna be the green pumpkin goby color. Uh, it's different than regular green pumpkin just by a little bit. This green pumpkin goby, it has goby in the name, not the reason that I fish it for the Great Lakes or anything like that, but for some reason, if you fish a bait that has purple and gold glitter in that dark green color, it just imitates those gobies spectacular up on the Great Lakes. There's been a lot of famous colors and famous baits that have come in this color right here. Um, they've called it by different names, but a lot of those baits up on the Great Lakes, they love the purple and gold glitter in it. I don't know why smallmouth like it so much. It's worked spectacular on Chautauqua, Cayuga, those places as well. I will fish this in those Northern natural lakes or places where they're feeding heavily on perch and bluegill uh, over green pumpkin 99% of the time. For some reason, those flecks of color just add a little bit to it, especially on a sunny day. This color gets it done. It will catch a ton of fish. It just imitates everything really, really well, specifically the gobies, uh, but also it, the mostly perch lakes. I wouldn't say bluegill. Bluegill, it will imitate. It does imitate bluegills exceptionally well. If you fish in ponds, it will work as well, but there are also other colors that will work too. Uh, but if you fish places where they feed heavily on perch and gobies, this color will be thrown over the green pumpkin plain base color. So that's an awesome color to have. I catch a ton of fish on this one every year. This is probably one of my favorites up there with the green pumpkin. So make sure you guys get some packs of these guys. They will catch a ton of fish on pretty much any waterway in the United States. And for my last color here, this is my favorite one for fishing in creeks. I love to fish creeks for smallmouth bass. We do catch some largemouth and spotted bass as well, uh, but our creeks up here mostly have smallmouth. If you're fishing any creek though, it doesn't matter where you are in the United States, if you're fishing a creek, a lot of what these fish will feed on are small minnows, very, very small minnows. That deal color would work as well, uh, but for some reason in a creek, I've noticed this color to outproduce all of the other ones, and that's gonna be mud minnow. The mud minnow color works excellent. It's a dark green pumpkin back. It looks almost like green pumpkin, and then it has that pearl blue glimmer belly. With that pearl blue glimmer belly, as it darts around down there on the bottom, it can really look like a small bait fish or whatever those fish are chasing after, little sculpins, little catfish, They'll eat any little bait fish that scurries 
around on the bottom down there because they don't have a lot of food in these creeks. So they will eat crawfish, they will eat bugs, uh, but they also chase a lot of little bait fish and that mud minnow color just imitates them excellent. And the number one thing that I see them chasing and what this imitates is creek chubs. I don't know if you have creek chubs where you live. Up here in the Northeast, we have a ton of them and those creek chubs, they get very, um, the, the small ones get picked off regularly by some bigger smallmouth and that little color right there, it has that dark back. It has like almost like that line down the side that they have, has the lighter belly. It just mimics the creek chubs excellent and catches a ton of fish in creeks. So I, anytime I'm wading a small stream trying to catch fish, that's gonna be the color I'm throwing. Usually the only color I will take with me. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video talking about some of my favorite Ned Rig colors. If you wanna see another video talking about some Ned Rig fishing tips, go ahead and check this one out right here. Some of my favorite ways to fish this bait and catch some fish as well, in addition to these colors. So if you enjoyed today's video, leave a like down below and make sure you hit that subscribe button. And thanks for watching.